Hello, my name is Mary Yell. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. After watching Mama, now I know that danger is lurking around the corner whenever the lights are flickering. I got the movie Mama one Easter. Ever since, it has become one of my new favorite horror films. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. Don't cross Mama, and let's talk about this film. Mama is a 2013 horror thriller about two kidnapped daughters living in the woods under the mysterious care of a figure. After five years, the girls are found and returned to the care of their uncle and his girlfriend. Readapting to life, they are not alone as they experience a nightmare of events. The first time I ever watched Mama, I jumped at so many occasions. Mama is a well-directed film with an intriguing story that keeps you guessing until the very end. Through the dark atmosphere, the theme of love is prominent. Jessica Chastain completely transforms herself into a goth metalhead 30-year-old teenager. This is one of my favorite roles of Chastain's. She's unrecognizable as Annabelle, who finds herself in the undesired position to take care of her boyfriend's nieces. Her growth is huge. I love the interactions she shares with the girls, slowly coming out of the closed-off person to be someone who she never intended to become. Megan Charpentier and Isabel Nalise were outstanding in their performances as Victoria and Lily. They shared emotional scenes, after living alone for years, they have to regain the social skills that they lost. These girls go far in their performances, taking the ultimate risks blending innocence into vulnerable demeanors. I had no idea that Charpentier was the actress who played the vile Greta in the It movies until researching years later. And then Jessica Chastain went on to play adult Beverly Marsh in It Chapter 2. In Lily's case, she was too young to even grapple the world, acting like an animal most of the time. Nelise was a terrific young actress, speaking mainly with her eyes rather than voice because at the time she couldn't speak English very well. Things are not as they appear. Everything about Mama's appearance is real. Aside from the CGI hair, J.B.R. Botet was frightening as Mama. The director did an outstanding job of keeping Mama hidden, only showing her in brief shots until the final reveal. Her backstory is chilling. The filmmakers came up with a very creative idea to show audiences Mama's backstory. Mama's movements are so disturbing and yet conquers at being the highlight of the film. Other acting credits include Nicolaj Coaster Waldu, Daniel Cash, Jay Mulfat, Morgan McGarry, David Fox, Dominic Cusacre, and Julia Chantry. This film proved to be the ultimate acting challenge to study the depth of the character to become believable. Watch very closely and you'll find characters who look vaguely similar, but utterly transform themselves into a new personality. Mama is under the direction of Andy Muschietti, who is the director of the It movies. It made this a new experience for me. Muschietti has his own definition when it comes to horror. He excelled in the characters, most notably with Annabelle. The story moves at a suitable pace with well-timed jump scares. It does a great job establishing the bond between Annabelle and the girls, which were my favorite scenes to watch. However, the ending felt a little out of left field to me. I still love this film for what it is, but the ending just never made sense to me, taking a new direction into a fantasy film. I could watch Mama any time that it airs on TV. It is an engrossing horror film. Aside from the ending, which felt far-fetched to me, it's still a fun film to watch. Horror movie lovers, you have to watch this film. Be warned that there are disturbing images in it, but it is worth a watch. Thanks for catching my review of Mama. Please check this one out. I have one more underrated horror film to talk about for Shocktoberween month. Be on the lookout for my review of Dark Water. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle. 
and this has been another one of my movie reviews.